Hey YouTube, welcome back to a brand new Animal Crossing New Horizons video. Today, as a bit of a Christmas and holiday special, we're doing something a little different and taking a tour of Morishima. A bunch of you have been requesting this, so I hope you enjoy it. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So you've all seen bits and pieces of my island here and there in videos but today I'm going to try and work my way around so you can see everything all in one video and explain a few things along the way. As you probably know I'm a huge fan of the Gamecube version of Animal Crossing which is commonly known as population growing and that's pretty much what I've based my island on. Morishima is very minimal and seems quite open but for me less is more and it just feels more like my island that way. Now it may not seem like it but I had to completely re-terraform my island to get a more traditional three tier island which as you can see closely matches the original maps. Having a three tier town in the original Animal Crossing was quite a desirable feature so it made more sense to go with that for my island. As you'll notice either from the map or as we run around the cliffs are all pretty much straight or right angles and this is to make it feel more like the original. Because of this I was able to use very few ramps which again was something that was present in the original. It's weird but I really like having to run a long route to get somewhere because it makes it feel more like a real island if that makes sense. Anyway that's the basic layout, here we have kind of the main village from the original which for anyone who's played the Gamecube version will know the acre that has the players houses in is pretty central to the island and towards the top of the map. Currently I only have my house here but I have got the plots for three more when I get time to add them eventually I hope it will look like the house plots from the original. Moving up to the very top of the map we have my version of the classic train station. This definitely wouldn't have happened without the help of a talented pixel artist. I'm not sure if they want to be named so I'll just leave the links for the patterns in the description. As you can see we pretty much have the closest thing to a train station layout as possible along with a little box that typically KK Slider would sit on and play music back in the day and a board for where the town map would go. Then if we head through we have the actual train tracks which I think look really cool. They run the full length of the island and are fenced off like the original. Moving on we have a little nod to the old school post office. Sadly we don't have an actual building in New Horizons but I added this board which was the music board where you would change your town tune which used to be next to the building. It's a tiny detail but I think it really came out well especially thanks to the classic stone path which you'll see quite a lot of as we move around the island. Next if we head down to the middle layer we come to the large pond and a dock. This is reference to one of the most iconic areas in the original which was of course the pond. The pond in the original was the centre of a lot of events such as fireworks and things like that and always near the events like the fishing tourneys so I really wanted to include that in my island. For the purposes of the map I made the pond as round as I could so it mimicked the map as much as possible. The original maps also had rivers flowing from the tops to the bottoms of the map and passing through through the pond so I had to make my rivers fit with the pond too but I think it works well and has even created some nice little areas for villager homes which is cool. Anyway if we move along the middle level we soon come to the most famous area in the original Animal Crossing which is of course the wishing well. The wishing well was also the town plaza where all of the events and activities took place and where you would meet all the special characters. The pattern path really makes this area but you'll also notice a single tree on the top of a single cliff tile which I think emphasizes that it's supposed to be the wishing well. Of course I do get a lot of questions about how to do this but don't worry it's not a hack and actually a really easy easy trick to do. Just google New Horizons tree cliff trick and you'll find out how to do it. Anyway moving on along the middle tier we have the classic dump. This is pretty easy to make and features some of the awesome dirt patterns made by the same creator of the classic path. They're super talented and I'll leave the links in the description. In the original every town would have a dump just like this and you could literally throw things away there or if you wanted to take someone else's if you liked the look of it. It was a good way to make a few extra bells or get rid of things you didn't want. Again I needed it on my island. Anyway moving around you'll see lots of areas that were created as a result of the river locations and this worked out quite well as a place to put the villagers as sometimes in the original they were quite tucked away. The villager houses were all spaced out randomly back then as well and we weren't able to decide where they went so I tried to do the same here. As we head down to the lower level you'll notice the island has a lot of open space and that's not through being lazy or anything it's because having lots of open areas like this makes the island feel massive it really does. With that said I still have a few areas that need tidying up and some trees and flowers to move to make things look more random. 
Anyway, if we head to the beach, you'll see the Able Sisters, which is no big deal, but I placed it towards the beach, along with a tiny path again to match the original maps, because for some reason the Able Sisters were pretty much always by the beach. Moving up, we have another little nod to a very desirable feature back in the GameCube days, and that's a double bridge. If you were super lucky when your town was generated, you'd get this double bridge with a tiny piece of land in between them. You could get a vertical one or a horizontal one. Given I wanted my rivers to be as linear as possible, and by this point I was running out of places to put this, I went with the horizontal one. The piece of land is just big enough to plant a few bushes or a tree, which is really cool. And finally, if we make our way back along the map, you'll see the resident services area, which obviously you can't do much with, but we have a bunch of classic paths and dirt patterns that I will eventually expand. Here we have the rock garden, which I'm still unsighted about actually. It took a lot of effort to make, but the rocks were random in previous games, so I may still smash these and let them spawn randomly. I'm just not sure yet. Then as we work our way around, we have much more open space with a lot of trees, which again is plenty of room for random villager homes or future buildings or projects that may be added into the game in the future, while still keeping with the classic map style. Just running around now, I forget just how big my island feels compared to how it was at the beginning. Anyway, that pretty much brings us to a full loop and back up to the wishing well. I do have some other areas like a pumpkin patch in the top and this awesome cliff diving area, which isn't really relatable to the GameCube, but you'd kind of need it just because it's awesome. Of course, we've only really focused on the GameCube themed parts of the island, but if you want to see all the other little areas or something like that, feel free to visit my dream address. There's still plenty to see, but this does kind of cover the main layout of the actual island. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. As I mentioned, this was just a casual, much more relaxed video as a kind of Christmas special, so I hope you enjoyed it. Of course, I hope you all have a wonderful holiday and enjoy the festive season. I know it's rough right now, but please be safe and look out for each other. Thank you all for watching and thank you for being here over the last 12 months. You've really made my dreams come true. You're all awesome. I appreciate every single one of you. Happy holidays, everyone, and have a Merry Christmas. Anyway, what do you think about this island? Are you a fan of minimal islands or do you think they should be completely terraformed? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Anyway, if you're an Animal Crossing fan, don't forget to subscribe as I'll be uploading New Horizons news as and when it happens. Until then, I'd like to give a special thank you to this channel's Patreon supporters as well as this channel's members. You guys absolutely rock and truly help me upload as regularly as I do. I couldn't do it without you. Don't forget to head over to our Discord server too. And of course, if you made it to the end of the video, please comment GameCube just to let me know you did that would be super awesome and please be sure to include if you enjoyed this kind of video and what your favorite part of Morishima is I'd love to know anyway I hope you enjoyed this video and found it entertaining please be sure to leave a like if you did thanks for watching I hope you have an amazing day stay safe and I'll see you in my next video peace